As we age, I think that we prefer to be in our own homes, staying independent. And with me today, I have John Belissery with New Generations Home Care, and he can help tell us a little bit more how we can make that happen. John, welcome. Well, thank you for having me. Um, and you're right, I've, I've traveled the state. I'm, I'm president of the Personal Care Association, so I've been around the state. and. What's of utmost concern to all people is how can I age in my home? How can I remain independent? Um, and as that population mushrooms, we, we've got to find ways that we can give service to people in their homes where they prefer to be and the added benefit is so cost effective. But um, independence is paramount to most people as they age. Remaining in their home is, is a very important issue so um, that's what we can provide through home care and I think that as we <clears throat> as we age not only just as far as um, healing just even just uh, being able to do the day-to-day -day events bathing things like cooking hygiene uh, housekeeping things like that you your services are able to help with and you're right it does allow people to remain independent just for a little bit of assistance which many people do need but just with that assistance they can remain at home which means they're of added benefit to the community because they're in the community and a lot of times people fail to realize elderly people have a great deal to give back to the society they're experienced people to have great legacies in the community they can share it. In an institution they're almost put away in a room where nobody gets to hear their story. So I think there's a societal you know, benefit to having people remain at home and like you said people prefer it. Right, absolutely. And I, and I also think that, I, I, I don't know this, but my assumption is it's much, much less expensive on a home health care situation versus a nursing health care situation and there there is obviously a need for nursing home care in some in some situations in, in the continuum of care you have to have the nursing home system and institutional care um, but because of of the cost dynamics you're you're exactly um, correct we are probably sixty seven a dollar cheaper so it is very cost effective and as we live longer, and that's one thing is, is the trends show people are living longer, some people come to us and they call and they, they're concerned that they're going to outlive their money. So they have to find a way to extend their, their, their money as long as possible. It's cost effective, it's preferred, and um, and taking are happier. And being able to take care of, somebody helping to take care of them also. In that way they stay at home where they can take care of another loved one that may be with them. Right. We had a lady called the other day from, from Texas. Her mother was still pretty active, but her father had had a stroke. And the last thing we to do is to put the father in a nursing home. So they were able to, to, to work up the number of hours of care that allowed the mother the independence that she didn't feel guilty but allowed right. her to get out and play bridge and she still played golf and, and, and visit her friends knowing that her husband was still at home with her. And, and she it, still was the main caregiver. Absolutely and it gave her the respite, the break she needed because um, studies bear out that if you are the sole caregiver and especially if you are above 60 years old there's a lot of physiological problems that occur, mental problems. It's just a, a toll that, that's, that has to be paid by one person. Sharing that and receiving the proper respite energizes. Like I always tell people, it's like getting your cell phone recharged. Right. You know, sooner or later the battery goes dead, it has to be recharged. John, New Generations Home Care is located in Bluffton, correct? And I know you're throughout the state of South Carolina. How do people know that person walking in the door is is safe good question um we um everybody that works for our company has a criminal background check we everybody is bonded we go through um in services we have people that have to be lifted out of bed how to properly lift um we do a lot of care with dementia alzheimer's they go through these type of, of in services um, our state, as a matter of fact, we give a lot of credit to our state legislature, just passed a licensure bill ensuring all citizens receive the same thing that some receive now. Um, they passed a licensure bill that we've worked on for 10 years 
that will mandate any person that goes into another person's house to give care has to have a criminal background check, TB test, in services, minimal, you know, education. So important, just so important. He's got, and I know you, you all have followed the Medicaid laws, which have mandated that for years, but maybe not everybody has, 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 been, has come to those, those laws. Well, and your more reputable companies, they do all, you know, do the sled checks or the criminal background checks. But you're right, private citizens should be afforded the same rights that Medicaid recipients. Uh, new generations, some of the services uh, I was reading online, uh, just even simple things like um, helping somebody bathe and, and, and housekeeping and light cooking and obviously you um, have skilled nursing services at a, at a higher level if, if it's required. All of that is encompassed in, in what you do, right? Absolutely. Everything from skill care, we have patients on ventilators personal care where it's bathing, grooming, light mills, errands, transportation, to just having a warm body. We've had people call and say, Companionship. Said, Absolutely. Can somebody come visit with my mother, read, sit and just... Play and, cards. And it's amazing what it does to the person's spirit to have that human touch. Right. So um, we, we provide all levels of service and we, um, in all services, are matched to the person. And the services can be anywhere from one hour to 24 hours? Correct. We, we do 24-hour care. We do as little as one-hour care. Um, and once again, we tier the services. We match the services, what the person needs. And then we even spend a lot of time in our company making sure the aid that we send is a good match for that particular client. Thank you so much for joining us today, John. And thank you so much for joining us today on Talk of the Town.